Hello everybody, we had a short break, but now we are back with part two of our Thread Up unboxing. And welcome back. Um, like I said, we're back with part two of our Thread Up unboxing. If you didn't watch the last video, why didn't you? Um, I think there's a thing up here to to go do that now. Um, if if you did, welcome back. Like I said last time, this was 50 items for I believe I said 115 last time. I actually found the uh, the receipt and it is 110. So a little bit cheaper than I had originally said, um, but still same ballpark. All right, now. Let's get right into it. Up first, we have an MLM. This is a large. This is a. Yeah, it's a skirt. Um, nope, not not the shorts on the inside. Just a regular skirt, but it does have these. Um, oh wait, is this a, no? This is not a skirt. Okay, I was mistaken. This is a top. Um, yeah, those are definitely armholes. I guess you could probably wear it as a skirt if you, uh, one, two. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, anyway, that is a, is a very unique, confounding piece. We're off to a good start. Okay, up next we have a XXI another this one's a extra small or a TP I guess that's tiny petite um, not entirely sure if maybe tray petite if I remember a little bit of basic French anyway this is in fact a skirt it is a uh, full Full length skirt. Um, yep, no armholes in this one, so definitely, definitely a skirt. I am not going to make that mistake again. I will only allow myself five more, five more mistakes in this video. All right, up next we have a pieces. Uh, this is a large. And this is a kind of polka dot sweatshirt. The polka dots are actually um, they're a little bit uh, see-through. Um, so it's kind of interesting. The color of the polka dots is going to largely be determined by the color of shirt you wear underneath this. Or suppose if you're feeling especially frisky, the color of your skin. Oh boy. That one's going to get me in trouble. Alright. Moving right along. We have... This is a Dan skin. It is new with tags. Um, and this is a pair of pants. And given the tag, I believe this would be a pair of yoga pants um, designed to keep you cool to the max um, for the ultimate performance fabric. It's, uh, it moves moisture away from your body, keeping you cool and comfortable. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that. I'm not entirely. Well, I'm sure. Sure it does. Probably breathes really well. Definitely something I wish we had in our workout collection. <laughs> okay, up next we have a mystery. Um, the tag is so faded. Oh wait, um. 
you can just barely read it. It says Shelly. Something, something Shelly? It's just barely legible on there. Um, I don't know if it's faded or if it's just the particular, this particular brand does really, really light text on white tags, but this is a top um, dress. I can't even see the size on this. Oh well. Um, it looks like, if I had to take a guess, I'd say it's a extra small white dress. Mm, not familiar with the brand, so I won't say anything more about it. And we'll just move on to an H&M. This is a green sleeveless top, um, button button up because the collar does not have does not have holes for the buttons, so it does not button down. It's button up. All right. Moving right along, we have a. What is this? This is a divided. Another H and M. There we go. And this one is another button-down top, uh, but this one, long-sleeved, a little bit thicker, no pockets, no pockets on the last one either, and just little dots all over it. I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if divided is a better or worse than regular H&M, but I'm sure my wife will figure it out when she lists it. Okay, up next we have a Old Navy. This is a 1X, and it is a short-sleeved shirt with a um, zipper in the back, uh, so I guess it that's a little unusual for a short sleeve shirt to have a zipper in the back. Um, hmm. But unique pieces always do well. So I'm sure I'm sure that'll help it. Oh my. My little stack down here is starting to wobble. Okay. Up next we have an Ann Taylor. A pair of shorts. Uh, let's see. These are a size two, made in Indonesia. Um, they're just a pretty standard pair of khaki shorts. Um, like seeing those with spring and summer coming up. They're gonna do. They'll do well. They'll do really well. You know, I've, I know I say this all the time, but in the reselling game, you gotta you gotta stay one step ahead. So you always want to have one season ahead, because that's when people shop for the next season. All right, next we have a Vera Aim. Amy, Amy, Amy. Ah. and this is a shawl with a hood. Um, I didn't see what size it was. Uh, it is a small. Yeah, feels about right. And it does have pockets on the front. Has it got them on both sides? I believe it does. Yes, it does. So, something a little bit heavier, but something that's still... still going to be useful in the spring. For those rainy days. Support and dress in layers. Okay, up next we have a Charlotte Ruse. Uh, this is a medium. This is a green skirt. Yep, skirt. Uh, that first one's got me all shook up. I don't know what's a skirt and what's a dress and what's a top and what's a bottom and. Ugh. But green skirt. 
Um, we're finding a lot of finding a lot of a lot of good stuff. Not not anything particularly great, but I do see. Um, I do tend to when I put everything away from shooting, I put the good stuff at the bottom. Um, so I kind of build up. Okay, up next we have a. Mass... Massimo? Hmm. It's a little bit... Uh, not... Entirely. I'm not familiar with this brand. The... Anyway... Oh! I guess it says... Right here, uh, white feather. This isn't made of feathers. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's just the style. This is a white feather sh pair of shorts. Um, yeah, it's 80, or it's 98%, I cannot read anything on this. 98% cotton, 2% spandex, but it doesn't really feel, I guess, maybe the... Maybe this black part on the outside is not 2% spandex, but this white part definitely has a little bit of stretch to it. Uh, not as much you'd expect from 2% spandex. Hmm. This is apparently just the box of pieces that confuse me. Okay, up next we have an Ann Taylor Petite. This is a tank top. Oh, tank top, yeah. Sleeveless top. Uh, patterns on the front, plan on the back. Simple piece that is not confusing to me. Okay, up next we have a Forever 21. This is a extra small skirt um, that checkered pattern. And where? I don't see any pockets on this one, so anyone who's been watching my videos for a while will know that I enjoy pockets on skirts because, say it with me, I don't have to carry stuff if people have pockets. Okay, up next we have a Ann Taylor. This is a extra small top, um, no buttons, uh, so I guess it's just a v-neck. Do you call it a v-neck if it, if it takes the sudden dip, is that a v or is that something else? It looks like there would be buttons, but there are none, not even on the sleeves. So, a buttonless and Taylor blue striped top. Extra small. And last we have a silence and noise, um, a size one. This is a, this is a bright tag that doesn't want to show up on camera, but it is silence plus noise. It is a skirt with two layers. Um, I know my wife mentioned the other day that layering is starting to come in, or was in. Um, elastic waist, uh, so no, no need to fumble around with any zippers or anything. Just pull it up and go. Um, and a nice little bit of layering. All right. So that was box number two. Um, I definitely think that I put, I think that box, maybe I got the boxes out of order because I think box one, part one of this box was better than part two, but I still saw some good items in there. They're definitely going to sell in spring. Um, all right. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I've been Charles and I'll see you.
after the credits. Um, sorry for the delay in videos. Um, I had some, uh, well, I really just had a crying baby, so I couldn't, um, couldn't film as much as I wanted to last week, but uh, make it up for it now. All right. I'll see you next time. Oh, and videos. Bye. <laughs>